Hey guys, I'm Ready Gamer and we're back on this F122 career mode. Today we are going racing for the British Grand Prix at um I I didn't switch the hot the hot lap to the actual race at the Silverstone circuit. Oh, uh, this track is uh I don't know how I feel about it. I don't really like it a lot. Uh, but it's not bad. But last episode we had our best race of the season. Because if we look at the standings, we did not move up at all in the standings. Neither in the constructor standings. But we gained points. Lando got himself one point. We got the max points in a race because we won last time out. Uh, outlasting George Russell in Charles Leclerc to go ahead and win the Canadian Grand Prix. And so, you know what? We're going to another country where the primary language is is English. I think the primary language is English in Canada too because they speak American there except for like Montreal, I think. I, d I don't know. Okay. And then we got Austria, Hungary, Belgium, Italy, the United States again, uh, Mexico, Brazil, and we end the year at um, Abu Dhabi. Yeah. So we really don't have that many races left, dude. We are at the midpoint right here. This is where we want to turn the season around. We are one point ahead in the rivalry with George Russell. So a win today would be great. We just need to out-qualify him and finish better than him. And we can really get up uh, in points over him. Because right now he is uh, kicking our... Or not, he's not kicking our butt. We're in the lead. Uh, but yeah, they're the driver details. They don't really matter. But yeah, so... Uh, and in the R&D, if you didn't check it out, we are actually fourth in R&D and we are trying to um, get up there and pass Ferrari uh, as a team but it's really showed you know we've both been able to be pulling off constant top tens recently in the past two races see uh, points finishes I should say actually so you know what let's get into qualifying at the Silverstone circuit all right here we go out for qualifying at Silverstone circuit for the British Grand, for the British Grand Prix here uh, in the United Kingdom, England, wherever we are, United Kingdom, right? Um, and there we are. Was that a scale I just stepped on? I just don't realize that. Um, I gotta check my weight. I gotta make sure I'm not too fat. Why am I even looking at that? Um, anyway, here we go. We are getting ready to go out at the Silverstone and start qualifying. We qualified third. Uh, so if we could try to put up another qualifying lap like we did at Canada we will be looking good for maybe another podium or win let's get it going ladies and gentlemen from the Silverstone circuit this is our uh, teammates home Grand Prix so you know we, we hope the best for him maybe if we're second and he's or if, if we're first and he's second we might give him the win <laughs> I doubt we'd see Lando really on the podium though um but you know, maybe another a good top ten day for him. Other than than tenth, we don't want him to get the minimum points at if if we're gonna be like contending up on the podium. I want him to actually be like running better than eighth or better. As right now we have the pole. Holy crap! We're looking for career pole number one in our Formula One career. We've been really running well though. We're starting to contend with some of the better teams. We were able to keep Lewis Hamilton off another podium uh, last race with our, our great performance. Uh, and George Russell was able to get his first podium with Mercedes. Um, oh gosh. Yeah, that's a tough part of the track. Hopefully we're not running close to anybody as right now we have the podium by far holy crap is our car that good now how much longer do we gotta go i'm starting to get nervous oh please tell me that's not like momentum killing right there i think we're still good we are good by a mile let's go first career podium in formula one yeah and maybe lando had a good qualifying let's hope he doesn't have a penalty um we love to see it. First career podium. Let's see. What's that going to do XP wise for us? Probably nothing. But. Um, Lando P8. That's what he qualified last time out. And we got our rival P2 Sergio. Um, he found himself on the uh, uh, podium for qualifying. 
Lewis Hamilton qualifying fourth again. Can he finally pick up another podium? Uh, his last one was at Azerbaijan. Um, what else? We got Leclerc and Sainz, who though, I mean, Leclerc had a P3. He's off the podium right now, which I feel like that's odd for him. He's usually qualifying, like, on the podium. Uh, Lando, we're just going to have to hope for a good day from good old Lando. Handy-dandy Lando. Um, and as we scroll down, of course, Latifi's last. All right, I will see you guys when uh, we get into the race. Return once again then to the home of British motorsport and the birthplace of the Formula One World Championship. It's race day here at Silverstone and it's time for the British Grand Prix. Straddling the border of Northamptonshire and Buckinghamshire, the 18 corners of Silverstone Circuit form the 3.6 mile beating heart of Formula One. It's been reinvented over the years with turn one now the fast right-hander of Abbey, but the magic of racing is as strong here as it's ever been. It's time All right, there's our little track preview. Is here we go on pole, first career pole, and George Russell. He's all of a sudden, go, sudden going off two P2s in a row uh, on the qualifying grid. I'm pretty sure for him. Uh, is those two Ferraris? Qualify right next to each other. Lando's got that P8, no penalty there. Uh, I wonder if there were any penalties. Let's see. Pierre Gasly, P12. Uh, yeah, nobody cares. Yeah, okay. I don't think we had any penalties. Uh, is, is Nicholas Latifi? No, yeah, he's... he's oh, they both got penalties. <laughs> <laughs> so Latifi, or uh, Sonoda, I don't know where he qualified, but he had a penalty, and Latifi got a penalty when he was already in last. So, um, that helped him. Uh, first time we're seeing our car line up first on the podium, we, or on the, the grid, we love to see it. We got a tough race down through turn one with a uh, Mercedes right next to us. The list goes on and on. There was the driver's but title or driver's championship uh, title, same thing. I don't know. I associate it as the same thing. There we are looking at our, a data pad. There's Kevin Magnuson out there in 14th. Um, I don't know what his best career finish is, but yeah. Um, all right, here we go. It's the team's home race too. Not only is it Lando's, it's the team's. So here we go, starting P1. We might have rain to worry about, I don't know, just judging off the looks of, of the weather. Um, what else might there be that we have to worry about? Well, there's pit stops. We're just going to have to hope we're better than everybody else on those pit stops. Ladies and gentlemen, there's the race strategy. Lap 6 through 7 is the pit window. And ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Everybody get off the grid because it is time to get ready to drop the five lights. I almost said drop the green flag. We are underway in the British Grand Prix and Silver at the Silverstone start. So that I'm the I cannot talk. Holy crap, I forgot to turn. Hold on. Um, as that was a great start, George Russell just sent it on us. Okay. I'm gonna try using overtake, it might help us. As there goes George Russell, I nearly forgot to turn again. But we're going to go ahead and get our, our lead back uh, after he briefly held the lead just now. And we are going to try to lead every lap in this thing. Probably probably not every lap because of pit stops, but here we go. Going to get a quick start. George Russell falling behind. Lewis Hamilton's found his way onto the podium early on in this one. Um, remember, that is not the fine. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh, this is a little twisty turny track. Uh, here for the British Grand Prix, so we're just gonna have to hope or make sure we, we don't slide slide the car everywhere around the track. Um, as you know, we are trying to push for a uh, title here. I don't know if it's a little too late with how good some of these guys run, because um, you know it's all it's all based on consistency, um, and that first kind of first half of the season this is the halfway point we uh weren't the best with running in the top five uh but now since we've you know gotten on the podium gotten a win now qualified on pole um we have uh two races though left in this rivalry with george russell 
And we beat him in qualifying position, so that helps us out. He got one point, we got two. So that puts us two points ahead of him in the rivalry. If we can finish in front of him, that would also be good. And we'll, we'll probably, uh, hopefully be able to get him through that next week. Or that last race there in the rivalry. Uh, where we go to Hungary, was it? Uh, I don't know, I forgot. But we set the fastest lap here at the British GP. Uh, Carlos signs under the pole. We are now seeing a, a variation here. Or I sign on the pole on the podium. Um, a variation here in the podium of, like, last race we saw. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, that's not the right button. Crap. Um, we saw three different uh, teams make it onto the podium last race. McLaren, Mercedes, and Ferrari. And that is exactly what it is. And that is the exact order it is in. Is Let's try not to go wide there because George Russell is right there. He's going to take the lead. Oh, yeah, we ran right into him, and our dude was was quick to say, hey, you got a new strategy, but we're going to use a rewind, so we're good. And we can maybe keep the lead here. There goes Jorge Russell. <laughs> Actually, I think it'd be Jorge if, if it was a, a J. Gotcha. Use that overtake. We got a good lead over George Russell right now, so if we can just try to get that to a second, that'd be nice. We are leading the British G. We are leading the British GP, and I think they might actually send Hamilton down before Russell, because Hamilton is in front of Russell in the standings, and I don't know if they'll base it off position or or, or position in the standings, as we just set a new fast slap. DRS is being enabled this lap as well. I'm gonna go ahead and take over, take off there. Um, Alright, we got that up to a second, so we're liking that. We got a good lead here. That's Silverstone. I'm not liking where Hamilton is though, because I'm. I, is Hamilton still the guy in front of us, or is it Signs now? Which, if if so, I don't like Signs being on the podium. But we're getting like over 10 points over the dude in second, so we have like I think maybe 12 points over Signs right now um, in the current position we're in on track uh, right now. So we can just hopefully carry that on to. Um, the season. Because right now we have more points than anybody in this race. So, uh, teammate. Say that again, we're having trouble receiving you. Teammate. Gap to your teammate behind is 7.3 seconds. They're on fresh softs. They're eighth. Time last lap was at 136.2. I like that, that P8. It's better than that P10 he had last race. Yep, we're about two laps still. So, I'm liking where, where good old Lando is. P8, that's the minimum I want him to finish in. Because, you know, we've been making a lot of R&D upgrades. And, you know, if we can just get past Ferrari, I feel like we can have two top five cars. Uh, or maybe not past Ferrari, but close to Ferrari. And, and we're going to have two top five cars easily. As right now, we are really expanding our lead over George Russell. Um, and we sh will be the first guy to go down pit. Um, I would think. So, unless somebody tries to undercut. Uh, which is smart. But it doesn't always work. So. Here we go. Oh, Yuki! <laughs> I think that's Yuki's second DNF now. He got a poor, poor Yuki. He got a penalty and and, and now DNF. So what do you know, Nicholas Latifi, the worst driver in the field, won't finish last. Yuki will. Poor Yuki, dude. I feel so bad for Yuki. I I, I wonder what happened. I, I it never said anybody else was taken out of the session. So I'm just gonna assume it was like a, he freaking blew up his engine. Um. 
joking. I could make a joke that, you know, it's probably best I don't because it's a bad joke. Um, I, w I would have done it if Austin was here recording. I actually probably wouldn't have done it. Yeah, but we also. We also only have about two ish laps left on these tires. Wow, they really are uh, wearing down, though. I feel like we're running very smoothly, though. Got a big lead over George Russell in seconds. George Russell now, he's running better than Hamilton as Hamilton has made himself up onto the or his way ah oh, I can't speak his way up onto the podium which I'd rather have him right there than than uh signs because signs is in front of us in the standings I'm pretty sure so uh Perez he's running over Verstappen I just got a supercar token but I have unlocked all supercars so I don't know okay we've got to do with that. somewhere on the internal combustion engines be aware that we're going to start to see a loss of power Oh, I thought he was about to say rain. I was like, oh, that's great. Russell's starting to catch up to us, so. Maybe it's another take here. Coming up to the end of the lap here as we run very wide. We want to try to win. We want to try to win the team's home Grand Prix. If, if you know, Lando can't. Lando's further back, but maybe pit strategy could help Lando get a few positions. I don't know if he's still in eighth. Oh, that was the wrong button. I hit the wrong button, guys. Uh, you know what? Since we were in the middle of a turn, let's just rewind to here. Uh, I was trying to teammate. 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 Oh my goodness, dude. Teammate. Gap to your teammate behind is 8.6 seconds. Okay, they're on old softs. They're eighth. Your last lap time was a 1 minute 36.1. Oh my gosh, what's going on? Okay, hold on. Uh, P8, that's not bad. Still. Still where we want Lando to be. We want him to be P8, so... P8 or higher. P8 at a minimum. Holy crap, dude. Why can we not get those corners, dude? I feel like they might send Russell down first. I know these Mercedes are running 2-3, but I kind of think they would. I mean, if I were in charge of Mercedes, I might... Ah, no. Maybe not. Just because Hamilton's higher in the standings. I were Toto Wolf. <laughs> no, that's such a dumb name, Toto Wolf. <laughs> I'm sorry, Toto. Like he's gonna see this, but I, I will apologize either way. Who who really thought to like you know I'm gonna name my kid Toto. Alright. Down end of the pitch here, George Russell's gonna take the lead and lead the lap. Why are we going so slow, dude? Who else came down? Did anybody come down? Yeah, they're... Okay, Hamilton. They sent Hamilton down, so I guess it goes off of... There we go. And we should be able to just get instantly out. I feel like that was a bad stop. Um, hold on, guys. Guys, I'm back. So we should be the first dude, per, not first, I'm gonna say the first dude, first person off. Um, looks like we're gonna come off P8, so that's not bad at all, and I forgot to shift up. Wait, we might get a penalty. No. Oh, no! Schumacher! Mick Schumacher! I don't know what happened to him there. I, just a spin, I guess. I could've easily gotten past him, but I, I messed up big time, so... Oh 
Schumacher's really slow. And we don't have like any warmth in these tires, so <laughs> that's also amazing. We should get the Uh oh, that's not good for for the Ferrari team. That's good for us because Signs is in front of us in points, and we are looking to move in front of them. Is we're gonna have DRS here after a okay. Lando just went down. Uh, I was thinking about passing Schumacher, but he's probably gonna go down, so, yep, there he goes. Go on to the front stretch, and we should get our lead back. Yep, we're back to the lead. Something I, I always stress about that. I'm like, are we even gonna get the lead? Yeah, we, we just did, so. Russell didn't come off too too far behind us. The car behind just bumps the mediums. Car behind on the medium tire now. It's also got cold tires and probably taking a few corners to get back up going, so. Okay, the gap behind is 3.2 seconds. Alright, here we go. Oh gosh, we really expanded that gap, yeah. We're stapping up the P5. Teammate status. Okay, so we're leaving our teammate by 12.3 seconds. They're on fresh mediums. They're currently a sixth. Ooh, sixth for Lando! Hoo hoo hoo! That's nice, we love to hear that. P6 for Lando. Uh, and we're like 12 seconds in front of him, and Verstappen's 11 behind us. So, I don't know if that means Lando might be able to get a P5? I hope, though, because that would be amazing if Lando can get a P5 for us. Yeah, we got a big lead over George Russell, though, so we're looking... For Grand Prix win yeah, number two. Is Still about maybe a second off of look not Leclerc, we're stapping. I don't even know we're we're in front of the Ferraris, both of us. So this is really a good day going for us right now. Um It'll be good for constructors plus just points. And I really want to know where Carlos is because he, like he, like they said, he was he in trouble. So maybe if he gets no points, that'll really help us. Come on, baby. That's just five laps of fuel remaining. Looking for win number two. We are looking to enter the mix with Verstappen and Leclerc. They both have three wins right now. We have one looking for our second. This could put us in a championship mix here if, if we can uh, win a few. Yeah, Lando's a bit back. I don't know who's behind him, whether it be Leclerc. I would assume that'd be Leclerc. Um, behind him. Because, like I said, they said they were, um, that Sainz had trouble, and I see a Ferrari a little further back in the field, so I think that'd be Carlos Sainz. So if he can finish out of the points, that'd be good for us. Uh, here's some information on Russell for you. Okay, they're 
<laughs> George Russell's got uh, issues now, which you know that's not a problem for us because I mean, I, or it actually kind of is because he's reliable. But, you know, if he ends up dropping a few spots there, that'd be nice. But that also put a Red Bull on the podium, which they I think are second in standings, but Mercedes third, so they have both of their guys on the podium. Yeah, we're gate we're putting time on, on Russell here, so. Coming to the end of our lap. Two to go. Oh wait, no, not yet, hold on. Dude, I'm forgetting where the freaking start finish is. Did I already pass it? I already did. I'm, I'm so dumb, guys. I was looking at the thing wrong. Yeah, I think Hamilton might be able to get past Russell here in a second. Uh, Lando's not close enough to those Red Bulls, so I think he'll probably just have to try to hold on to it at P. Oh, Verstappen's on hard compounds, though. Oh, gosh. So, Hamilton's about to pass Russell. So, I'll put Hamilton up to second for another podium. Maybe not, okay. Right, we've got enough fuel for three more laps. That is enough to get us there. To the uh, closing corners of this lap. Oh, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> yep, Hamilton just got past George Russell. That's what I was looking at because I noticed he started closing the gap. Russell, is there enough time in this race for Russell to fall back off the podium? That's the question right now. I'd love to try to keep George Russell off the podium. It's because he's our rival. Once we're done with that, though, he can go back. He can, he can go back to being on the podium. Right now, though, looking for win number two, podium number three. No! Lando just dropped to seventh. There's a red dot in front of an orange dot, so I know that Lando just dropped. Right, I don't know if Lando's got the power, but Russell's really dropping, so I think Perez might be able to pull up uh, to a uh, podium here. I think it'd be his second, maybe? They're not on that last lap. We're getting ready to get to that last lap. So it's... Dude, Russell's dropping fast. He's dropping like a bullet. He's got like a parachute attached to his car right now. Because he's dropping. I think he'll probably fall off the podium because okay. now... Oh, I don't know. Russell's really keeping it close. He's got him within a second. Oh. Maybe... Yep, Russell just fell off the podium. What a downfall for George Russell. And we got less than one to go, so... We should be able to cruise to uh, win number two. And two in a row at that, so... 
car has really been running a lot better since those R&D upgrades. Russell off the podium. Lando trying to run down, I would assume that'd be Leclerc in sixth. I don't know if he'll be able to, but as we come into these final few corners... We can just take our sweet precious time because we are going to win our second Grand Prix of the year at Silverstone and the team's home Grand Prix. And uh, Lewis Hamilton gets driver of the day, really. Didn't he? he went like two spots from his green spot. But we're going to start first, finish first, and the team... Looking happy. We're both gonna finish in the points. Oh, that car just looks beautiful on the freaking podium, guys. As uh, Perez finishing third, Hamilton second. What a race. Here we are walking down the hallway towards the podium. And uh, great win for us today. Two in a row. We're really starting to turn our season around. That The real question is, can we work up to a title? Because right now it's Verstappen and Leclerc. They both finished off the podium. Uh, fifth and sixth, I think it was for them. I don't know if Lando got there. I don't think he did. But what a downfall for George Russell. Was second and he falls off the podium. It would have been a second podium. Hamilton's looking happy. We're looking happier though. As uh, we win our uh, second race of the year. We end up getting our third podium. Um, and, and we just teared up in the podium pass. Do I really care? No, we almost got teared up again. Um... After this round of the world Lando, yeah, P7. Seven. That's six points, though, so we get 32 points on the day. Uh, Russell falls down to fourth, though. And, uh, something that really helped us out if we go all the way down here. A, yeah, a tenth place finish for Carlos Sainz. So he ends up only getting one point in this one. That really helps us because we're up to P4 in the driver's standings, ladies and gentlemen. We are looking to get up towards Hamilton now. That is the guy we need to get to next. We are uh, just less than 20 points out from here. 18 points away from third in the standings. And the constructor standings, we're still chilling at fourth. I don't know. The gap is pretty large to make it up to mercedes so we might have to uh settle with a p4 right now but right now if we just keep winning these races we're gonna be up there in no time uh for the driver's title um so yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it. i will see you guys in the next one bye guys